Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve two-step equations with two terms in the numerator. So basically, on one side of the equation, everything is set up in fractional form. So we have a numerator and a denominator. Now remember, when we solve equations, we want to isolate the variable. We want to get the variable by itself and see what it equals. We do that by using inverse operations. We want to use inverse operations to undo the operations on the side of the equation with the variable. This will isolate the variable. And always remember, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other in order to keep everything balanced and equivalent. Let's jump into number one, where we have x plus seven as our numerator and three as our denominator equals five. So something plus seven divided by three equals five. Remember, when we are set up in fractional form, we have that fraction bar, that means we are dividing. Now we're not just dividing x by three or seven by three. We can think of that fraction bar as a grouping symbol. X plus seven is being divided by three. We can even put parentheses here to group the numerator. Again, that fraction bar acts as a grouping symbol and we divide the numerator by the denominator. Now we need to isolate that variable of x by using inverse operations. And we're going to go in the reverse order of operations. We have addition and division here, but the addition is grouped, it's in parentheses, and then we have division. We need to undo the division first. So we can think of this as getting rid of the fraction first. So what's the inverse operation of division? Well, multiplication. So let's multiply the left side of the equation by three. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So multiply the right side by three as well. Now on the left side, we are dividing by three and multiplying by three. So these threes cancel each other out. Now we just have x plus seven on the left side equals, and then on the right side, five times three gives us 15. And now we have x plus seven equals 15. So we are adding seven to x. We need to undo that addition in order to isolate the variable. What's the inverse operation of addition? Well, subtraction. So let's subtract seven from the left side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract seven, from the right side as well. On the left side of the equation, we are adding seven and subtracting seven. So these sevens cancel each other out. X is now isolated. So we have X equals, and then on the right side, 15 minus seven gives us eight. X equals eight, and that's our solution. Now we can check that by plugging eight in for x and seeing if it works. So let's come to the side. We have eight plus seven divided by three equals five. So let's start with our numerator, eight plus seven. Remember that fraction bar acts as a grouping symbol. So we will work through the numerator and then divide. Eight plus seven is 15. So we have 15 divided by three that does give us five, so we are correct. X equals eight. Let's move on to number two, where we have two on the left side of the equation equals, and then on the right side of the equation, a minus 15 divided by 12. We have subtraction and division, but the subtraction is grouped in the numerator, and we can even use parentheses to help us picture that. We don't have to write those parentheses, but it is an option. So we need to undo the division first. We need to get rid of the fraction. So what's the inverse operation of division? Well, multiplication. So let's multiply the right side by 12. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So multiply the left side by 12 as well. 
On the right side, we are dividing by 12 and multiplying by 12. These 12s cancel each other out. So now we just have a minus 15 equals, and then on the left side, 12 times two gives us 24. So a minus 15 equals 24. We are subtracting 15 from a, so we need to undo that subtraction. What's the inverse operation of subtraction? Well, addition. So let's add 15 to the right side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So add 15 to the left side as well. On the right side, we are subtracting 15 and adding 15. So the 15s cancel each other out. A is now isolated. So we have A equals. And then on the left side, 24 plus 15 gives us 39. So A equals 39. That's our solution, and we can check it by plugging 39 in for a. So let's come to the side here. 2 equals 39 minus 15 divided by 12. Let's start with the numerator. So we have 39 minus 15. That gives us 24. And now we have 24 divided by 12 which does give us two, so we are correct. A equals 39. So there you have it. There's how to solve two-step equations with two terms in the numerator. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.